Hello and welcome to our flip video lesson 2.10, Jesus of Nazareth. The recordings will be posted here once we finish. Uh, learning objectives of this lesson, describe the early life of Jesus, summarize Jesus' key teachings, summarize the conflict between Jesus and Jewish leaders and the events that resulted. And just a quick reminder, why are we studying or why are we learning about different religions? We study different religious practices in order to understand the interactions of different cultures during historical time periods. So we have to be able to understand different religions to understand how they impact historical events. So I'm not teaching you to believe a certain religion. I'm just teaching you the basics of the religion so you can understand how they impact history, uh, both past and present and potentially future history as well. Table of contents. So uh, Jesus in his conflict with his leaders. Uh, the student guide questions, student guide pages 335 to 340. There's quite a bit of reading today. You're going to use important vocabulary to help you with the understanding of the lesson. And then your human odyssey reading pages, uh, pages 396 to 403. So as always, it's important to have those read to kind of bring together the complete lesson and have a full understanding. Introduction 2.10, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus was born during a time of unrest. Raised in the remote town of Nazareth in the Roman pro province of Judea, he became one of the most influential people in history. Jesus' message appealed strongly to some people, but it angered and frightened others. Some thought he was the Messiah that God had promised the Hebrews. Others believed he was preaching revolt against Roman rule. So go ahead and open your student guide to page 337. And as I said, there is quite a bit of reading in this lesson today. So if at any point you need to stop the video to write in your answers, you're more than welcome to do that or to check your answers uh, if you've already completed your reading guide for today. Question number one, describe what is known about the early life of Jesus based on the New Testament and knowledge of the time period. According to the gospels, Jesus had a humble birth in Bethlehem. He was raised in Nazareth he studied the Torah and the history of the Jews. His family took him to the temple in Jerusalem, the holy city of the Jews, to observe Passover. He learned the words of Moses and of later prophets. He memorized the laws, prayers, psalms, and sayings. Question number two. According to the Gospels, what happened to Jesus after he was baptized? According to the Gospels, when Jesus rose from the river, he felt the Spirit of God touching him. He believed the time was coming for him to take God's message to the world. Question number three. According to the Gospels, where did Jesus deliver his message and to whom? According to the Gospels, Jesus went north to Capernaum by the Sea of Galilee. He walked from village to village across fields, down dusty roads, along the shores of lakes, spreading the good news. His message was for everyone, including poor people who were troubled or ill even those who were frightened because they had done wrong in the eyes of God and the law. Question number four. According to the Gospels, to Jesus, what was important about the kingdom of God? According to the Gospels, to Jesus, it was important to have faith in God and to treat others the way God wanted. Question number five. According to the Gospels, who were the Pharisees and why was Jesus so critical of them? What were some of Jesus' criti uh, criticisms of them? According to the Gospels, the Pharisees were Jewish religious leaders who insisted the Jews observe every detail of the Torah. Jesus was critical of them because they sometimes seemed smug because they believed they were more faithful to God's law than most Jews. Jesus said that rather than feeling superior to others, they should try to serve and help even the poorest. Question number six, according to Jesus' teaching, how can people show their love for God? According to the Gospels, Jesus taught that people could show their love for God by doing good for others. They should feed the hungry, clothe the poor, and shelter the stranger. This, he said, was the way to find God's kingdom. Question number seven, why were some Jews disappointed with Jesus and his teaching? Jesus' words disappointed and shocked some Jews. They wanted a Messiah who would drive out the Romans and build a great kingdom. They didn't want to hear messages about feeding beggars and clothing the poor. 
According to the question number eight, according to the gospels, what did Jesus want his apostles to do? According to the gospel, Jesus wanted his apostles to carry on his work after he was gone. Question number nine, what are parables? Parables are brief stories that illustrate a moral point. Jesus often told parables to help people understand his message. And a moral point means something uh, that, that is good and right. So being moral means being good and right and just and um, having good thoughts. Question number 10, according to the gospels, what did the chief priests accuse Jesus of? What happened as a result of those accusations? The chief priests accused Jesus of trying to break the old laws. They accused him of stirring up the people with his preachings. They said he claimed to be the new king of Judea and that he preached revolt against Roman rule. They cried out that he must be punished. Question number 11. According to the gospels, what happened two days after Jesus died? The gospels say Jesus appeared to his disciples, talked with them and told them to carry on his work. Questions number 13 and 14. Did I skip question number 12? I think maybe I did. Um, I will go back to do that. Perhaps it's out of order. I'm sorry about that. I'll, we'll go back. Questions 13 and 14. Who found Jesus's message appealing? Who found Jesus's message upsetting and why? The poor, the persecuted, and those who had little power found Jesus' message appealing because he told them God loved them as much as he loved the powerful. People who had done wrong listened because Jesus told them God would forgive them. He gave people hope. Romans, Jewish high priests, and Pharisees were upset because they feared changes that might cause them to lose power or wealth. Some did not want to share their wealth with others. Romans thought Jesus was dangerously political. The Pharisees accused Jesus of breaking old laws. Some Jews were disappointed that he was not trying to overthrow the Romans. Here we go, question number 12. I'm sorry about that, it was out of order. Question number 12, list four or more of the values found in the Sermon on the Mount. Humility, mercy, peace, standing up for one's belief, kindness towards others, and generosity. So again, that was out of order. That's question number 12. And here we turn to page 340 in your student guide. You'll find a little um, picture there with a circle and uh, little points coming out from it. So to summarize Jesus's key teachings, there's a web diagram here and you can put your own uh, thoughts there or you can use the ones that I have here. Uh, God is loving like a father, help and serve others, especially the poor. The kingdom of God is not an earthly kingdom. It is one of faith, love your enemies and love your neighbors. So again, those are paraphrases that you can use or you can use your own wording if you would prefer. Vocabulary is key to understanding comprehension. Again, some of these are, are um, copies from what we just went over in some of the, the questions. Uh, one, baptism is a ritual that symbolizes washing away old sins or offenses against God. Parables, brief stories that illustrate a moral point. And remember that word moral means good. Um, Pharisee is a member of an ancient Jewish sect distinguished by strict observation, observance sorry, of the traditional and written law. And then accused is to charge someone with an offense or crime. And again, reading is key to understanding. So make sure you do have your reading complete, pages 396 to 403 in your Human Odyssey book. Here's our uh, quote section, the Analytics of Confucius. Make it your guiding principle to do your best for others and to be trustworthy in what you say. And that was said by Confucius. Thank you so much for joining me today. The ultimate list, get more sleep, drink more water, get more exercise, read more, get more organized, clean more often, explore more, relax more, have more patience, forget doing more, just try your best. Have an amazing day. Thanks so much for joining me.